Hey, 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 look what I got. You got to keep your bananas? I got to keep my bananas and my apples. And your apples? Yep. Keep my bananas and my yes. apples. We did lose peppers. Huh? We lost bell peppers and we lost a lemon. Citrus huh? didn't come in. Okay. So it's I funny. guess no tacos till Mexico? I don't put lemons in tacos. Oh, uh, are you sure? No, no it's no lemon. no, babe. You can't keep me. You cannot keep me in Canada you and the US. You see your face right now. And keep me from eating tacos. Okay. crazy thing just happened. Like, really crazy. We're used to helping people do things like on the side of the road or yard work or cooking or, you know, little things here or there. Um, but we actually just helped a guy that owns a gas station in Beaver Creek. He's a little old Indian guy and it's one of those places I walked in, there's no way to pay the credit card at the pump. And they're old pumps. They're old pumps. Yeah. So I walked in to ask him, you know, to pay, to pay in advance, like a lot of places will do. They'll put a hold on your credit card for 150 Canadian or 200 Canadian, and then you pump your gas. As long as you don't go over that, you're good. So he said, no, you pump first, and then you come in and pay. I said, great. So he told me which pump to use, which was pump three. Um, so I pumped my gas, and while I'm pumping, the lady pulls up next to us in a little SUV, and I do what I always do in a small talk, and I get to know she's from Connecticut. This is her ninth trip to Alaska. She's staying in town. She asked about our trip, and I kind of told her what we were doing. She, she seemed a little shady. She was pretty negative about us driving through Prudhoe Bay. I said, well, you're not going to really see anything there. I said, well, that's not really why we're going. We're going to start this big trip to Argentina. So I, I always wanted to drive to Argentina, but I didn't have a Volkswagen bus with, with bars across the window. Because I hear you have to have bars across the window in Mexico. Huh? So anyway, cranky as she is, I go in to pay for the gas for me, and I walk out and the car is gone. And I said, Lindsay, did you see what happened to that car? And she goes, yeah, they, they pulled off and went forward. I said, did they pump gas? And I looked at the gas meter and it said they pumped 34 liters of gas. I said, I think they just ran off without paying. So sure enough, the owner of the store comes walking out and he's kind of looking at me almost, not accusingly, like, like I'm gonna put like 30 yeah. liters of gasoline in my truck where I just paid him for $140 worth of diesel. But he did look really confused and, and we said, yeah, there was a car here and they pumped gas and they're from Connecticut. There's two older ladies. Lindsay thought the car was red. But I knew it was a little SUV. It was gray, but but she was she knew what it was. So uh, the guy said, "Would you recognize them if we drove to to go find them?" And it's a small town, so we went maybe a quarter mile down the road. Yeah, to the only pretty there's, much the only hotel. There's only another one other hotel there. So we went in, and there was an SUV there, but it wasn't red. But it had a tag from Connecticut. So I asked the lady who was sitting in the driver's seat, which wasn't the lady that was in the driver's seat when I saw her. I said, are you with another person? Because somebody just ran off on, on paying, not paying for their gas. And she, I swear, she said, no, no, I'm not with anybody else. I don't know what you're talking about. I swear to you, this lady, she's in her 60s. She's not old and senile. She knows what she's doing, right? So then her friend comes walking out and she's got red hair and Lindsay remembered the red hair. And Lindsay goes, that's her, that's her, that's her. So I confronted her and I said, uh, ma'am, you didn't pay for your gas, that's not cool. And then the, the owner of the store was right there, he drove down with us and he started talking to her and she, she makes up this stupid excuse. Oh, I, I, I didn't know I had to pay for it. I, I'm so used to paying with my credit card at the pump. I, I didn't realize I didn't completely lie completely lie. Like another one of those people I just want to rip their face off because it's ridiculous. Tiny little town, super nice little man. He 
he's not making a ton of money. He's got this little rundown hotel and this little gas station with pumps that are probably out of the 80s, maybe even the 70s. I mean, they were old school. So we followed the lady back just to make sure she went. And uh, I took a picture of her license plate just in case she tried to be all squirrely with the guy. Because that's just, it's crazy. I mean, all the people, Lindsay, that we've, that we've run across, everybody's been awesome. And I'm sure there's jerks in the world, but... Oh, there are. That was ridiculous. I mean, I would maybe expect it from a 16-year-old look, you know, or uh, you know, somebody who just escaped from prison. And maybe those two old ladies did escape from prison. I don't, I don't know. Maybe they fell in the Yeah, maybe they did. I don't know. But I just know that that, that, yeah, that, that got me mad. So, but in terms of helping people today, we didn't really, uh, we didn't really help anybody until the end. It's really only because we decided to do this last leg and just bust on into Alaska at night. Otherwise, who knows, those ladies would have screwed that guy. I mean, it was 50, 50 Canadian bucks, so. 35. 35 US. But screwing somebody over, screwing somebody over. I don't think they ever would have paid for it in this lifetime. And maybe they never would have paid for it eternally. So I'm glad that I'm glad that, that guy caught up with him. I hope he charges him twice. Right yeah. <laughs> so. Our logo's all over your face. That's fine. <laughs> We're good. Good? We're good. We'll see you in Alaska. Call to wander. This is face. You see this beard? This is my Alaska beard. Except we don't have a six pack yet. Doesn't matter. Yes, it does. Nope, you gotta we have a deal. You gotta have a beard in Alaska. Why don't I have a six pack? What have you been feeding me? I've been feeding you good food. Oh, you've been feeding me good food, huh? What do we have for lunch and breakfast today? Had eggs and potatoes. Bacon. French fries with a pound oh, of gravy on yeah. and cheese. I forgot about the poutine. Yeah. <laughs> yeah the poutine. It's 9.15, sun's still shining. We are, uh, we're in no man's land. We're somewhere between Canada and the United States on the Alaskan Highway. We just went through this little town, uh, Beaver Creek in Canada, and then you cross and you see, it looks like the customs go in from Canada, but really it's, you get a free drive around and then people trying to get into Canada go through their customs. So we are 18 miles, 30 kilometers, 30 days, 18 miles from the U.S. border, entering into Alaska on his birthday. We are at U.S. Customs, about to get into Alaska. <laughs> You're welcome. For the first time, I'm going to Alaska. The dog's trying to eat the camera. So, um, yeah, we're just waiting. We're excited. We are excited. I don't like waiting for things, but I'm just a little antsy. If they're gonna take my apple and my banana. You ate one of them, right? I ate one of them. There's two apples and three bananas left. I really would love a banana for my breakfast. We'll find out. We'll tell them that. Say, please don't take my bananas. I'd really like a banana for breakfast. Yeah. <laughs> please, that could be your joke. I had all kinds of, I got all kinds of jokes in my head. It's kind of like when you get pulled over <laughs> and you're thinking like, he's going to ask me, do you, you know, why were you speeding or whatever? And I always have an excuse. Here we go. Well, I've got a million ways that I would joke with these guys, but they probably won't want it anyway. So. Ready? Here we go. Hey, hey, look what I got. You got to keep your bananas? I got to keep my bananas and my apples. And your apples? Yep. Keep my bananas and my yes. apples. We did lose peppers. Huh? We lost bell peppers and we lost a lemon. Citrus huh? didn't come in. Okay. So That's I funny. guess no tacos till Mexico? I don't put lemons in tacos. Oh, uh, are you sure? No, you it's no, no, babe. You can't keep me. You cannot keep me in Canada you and the U.S. You see your face right now. And keep me from eating tacos. Okay. Well, no. We got bananas it's not and happening. apples. Okay. So, 
God bless the USA. No peppers, huh? To get back on the road. That was it? Wow, that was yeah. so easy. That was it. So can we stay forever? Yeah. Because okay. we're American citizens. I know, but why did he ask us? I don't know. <laughs> he saw him go like, oh, why did I say Yeah. That? Yeah. <laughs> All right. He's a nice guy. Okay. No, did you joke no, with him? No jokes, though. No jokes. <laughs> I didn't feel that comfortable. All right. Yeah. Welcome back to America, where everything is back in miles. Yes, where the roads are civilized. There's actual lines in the roads. I'm sorry. I love you. We're in Alaska. Oh, they got cones. Cones instead of flags. Cones instead of pink flags. We spent some money in America. Sunglasses on. It's 10:15 at night. What? I also feel yeah. a little sunburned. It's that midnight sun. This is crazy. Where you wear sunglasses at 10 o'clock? I wear at night. my sunglasses at 10 o'clock. It's 10 p.m. So I just realized something, Lindsay. What? We were trying to get into Alaska for the 4th of July, so we did Canada Day in Canada. Yeah. And we're getting Independence Day in Alaska, yeah. in the U.S. Yeah. So we were all excited about it, and we were excited about fireworks, right? Yeah. What time do they usually do fireworks? <laughs> when it's dark out? Usually at like 9 o'clock at night, right? <laughs> well, it's 10.15 right now, 10.17, and it's not really dark, so... Do they do fireworks for the 4th of July in Fairbanks? I have no idea. I have no idea either. We might have to stay up till like 1 in the morning to I find out. I was totally looking forward to holding a Budweiser in one hand and a sparkler in the other, cheering for America. No, I really want to see fireworks. <laughs> I don't know if we're going to get to see fireworks. Crazy conundrums. Oh well. we'll. We'll figure it out. We always do. That's my motto on this trip. I don't really know much about much where we go. We just figured out. Well, we just lost eye over there. Yep, see we had a place to stay and now we don't. We'll just find another one. first Alaskan sunset. It's beautiful. The sun's still way up there though. Yeah, it's gonna take an hour or two. But it's pretty. <laughs>